What's up, Rad Fam? This is the video you all have been waiting for the long term review of my Kona Sutra. What I love, what I don't, all the nitty gritty details you will want to know if you're thinking about this bike. Let's roll. Hello and welcome back to the Rad Bike Adventure, the place where we talk about all things cycle touring, bike packing, and bike lifestyle related. It's a lot of bikes. So if you're into bikes or you'd like to be, consider gently tapping that subscribe button. By the way, I'm Ryan and I have cycle toured in 18 different countries and I'm super excited to share my knowledge and my experience with all of you. Also, if you are looking for links to the gear that we used while we were on tour, that's my partner and I, we traveled around the world for a year and a half. I'm gonna put that link in the description down below so you can click that and check out all the gear that we use and love. All right, let's get into it. So I have two disclaimers before we get into the whole review part. One of which is, this is my opinion and my opinion only, bikes are very subjective. So you should absolutely test ride a bike before you buy one. Of course, if you're gonna go on a long through hike, you wouldn't just walk in, buy a pair of shoes and then go to the hike, you'd test it out a little bit. So definitely do a test ride before you go on your trip. Disclaimer number two, I am a Kona ambassador and this is my second year with the program. And I actually made a video all about what a Kona ambassador is. You can click that up here if you're curious. But basically it just means that I'm stoked on the brand and I represent them, but they did not give me this bike. I paid for this bike with my own money and I bought it before I was even a Kona ambassador. So just getting that out of the way. All right, Whew, I had to get my sunglasses. It's very bright right here. Okay, just so we know we're all talking about the same thing. This is my Kona Sutra Bicycle 2018 through axle model. It is a size 46, which is the smallest size you can get. Kona's do tend to run a little bit big. Just for reference, I'm about five feet, four inches and I am quite short waisted. So I needed that short reach. This bike has gone probably about 9,000 miles. I don't use a bike computer, although I'm thinking about that in the future. Should I use a bike computer? Tell me in the comments down below. But I did calculate all the mileage we went on our year and a half long trip, which if you wanna check out that trip, there's a link over here. I got the full playlist. There's about 93 videos, I think. So that should keep you entertained if you wanna see us go all around the world. We went to Europe and Asia, Australia, New Zealand, and then we finished going down the Pacific coast of the United States. And then we've done other riding on it. So it's got a lot of mileage and we've done the basic upkeep, you know, changing chains. We had to change the tires. We'll talk about that in a second. Doing a little bit of rehauls, but I mean, the thing is still running fantastic. Still looks great. You know, a few little scratches and things that's gonna happen, get used to that. But overall, marvelous. Things that I changed or added on this bike, not too much. This is pretty much a stock Kona Sutra. The only thing that I added was pedals. These are my Chester race face pedals, super light, really nice. I like those for riding flats. Obviously I added these bottle cages, uh, style points subtraction because they don't match and they're pretty chintzy, but hey, that's what you do when you're on a budget. <laughs> um, other things I added are these Blackburn four cracks. Super nice, I love these, really, really robust, highly recommend. I added a Soma front rack. And actually now with the current Kona Sutra model, they have more of the, um, the bosses. bosses, the bosses, the nubs. So I wouldn't even have to use these. I could just go straight on. And that is a huge perk. I also changed my tires out halfway through the trip. They started with the uh, Schwalbe Mundials, which I found fantastic. They worked really well. But then later in the trip, I put on the Marathon Plus Tour and I absolutely love them. Really nice tread. And I actually found that they seem to wear more slowly than the Mondials. So I'm kind of partial to these, but the Mondials do fine. 
I also changed out my bar tape. It looks absolutely atrocious. Kona did not do that. That is all my doing. <laughs> Got pretty dirty. This one has Dior rear derailleur. The current model is like full Dior. So that is a big bonus. They also made the rims a little wider on the most recent version. These are I-19s and the current one is I-23. So now when you put those wider tires on, it's gonna be a little bit more robust, a little more grippy on the trail if that's the kind of thing you're into doing gravel riding. But yeah, we did road riding, we did gravel. We did some that was like a little bit technical and it handled it really well, even with all the weight on it. I always felt really, really confident. Okay, so things that I love about this bike. The main thing that I think of when I think of my Kona Sutra is comfort. I just find it to be a really, really comfortable bike to ride. And anyone else that I've had like hop on it, that's the first thing they say. They're like, wow, this is really comfortable. It just, it feels like it grips to the ground and it feels more comfortable, I think, with weight on it. So this thing is like meant to carry a lot of weight and take you all around the world, which kind of brings me to my second point, which is that it is very, very robust. Like it just feels like a robust bike over all like from the tubing to the 36 spokes i mean everything is just like built to last including the brook saddle which is another highlight for me i mean this thing if you've ridden a brook saddle you know they are built to last and they break in and they get better with time so loving the brook saddle and i think that's a really nice touch that kona puts the brook saddle on the Kona Sutra, knowing that that's like the classic cycle tourist saddle. Other things that I love about this bike, bar end shifters, reliable, right? They are indexed and friction shifted. So if you get into trouble, you can just use the friction shifter and you can get your way through. It takes a little bit of time to get used to the bar ends, but honestly, I love them. And they're super serviceable, which is great when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Also the handlebars, I don't know if you can see, but they're a little bit flared out. These are just the Kona road bars. They're almost like a little more like rando bars and really shallow drop, just really comfortable for the different riding positions. So definitely a plus on the bars. The brakes have been really reliable. Okay, so other things I love about this bike, it has a fantastic gear ratio. This one is nine speeds. The current model is actually 10, which would be even better. The gear ratio on that bike is insane, the newest model but I really never found that I was topping out and needed more. I am a, a strong climber, but it feels great climbing. I distributed my weight pretty evenly on the tour. So I had the back panniers, I had two front bags and a bigger um, swift kind of rando bag in the front here. And I always felt really, really confident and comfortable climbing, plenty of gears to go through. And on the descents, well, that's just where this bike shines. I felt like super glued to the ground and I'm a little bit of like a speed. I'm like scared of like too much speed, but never on this bike. Like I just felt like I could bomb hills no problem with all that weight. Like it's just glued to the ground. Kona is a mountain bike company. So I feel like this is kind of like the mountain road bike, if you will. So on gravel, it feels amazing. I always felt like this could just be a mountain bike actually if I had some flat bars on it really really confident descending so that is those are like main main perks of the bike for me okay the last thing that i absolutely love about this bike is its versatility if you know the kona sutra you've probably also checked out the sutra ltd model which is more of like a bike packing rig but what you may not know is that it is the exact same frame so that means that i could you know disassemble much of this take the racks off take the fenders off maybe change the gears and boom, it's a full bike packing rig. You can fit wheels up to, I think 2.25 in here without the fenders on. So that's pretty friggin' awesome, which is actually what I'm thinking about doing. So stay tuned for that video. When I make it, I'll put a link up here, but I'm gonna make this into a bike packing rig. That's my new project, so. Woo. Okay, so I mentioned the through axle. I absolutely love having one of those. It just makes it really easy to always seat your wheel. I just need like, I think it's like a four or five millimeter and I'll just take that out and it's a skewer that comes out, but it's just really, really secure. And it's just one of those things that makes you feel confident that your wheel is always in correctly and solidly in there. Through axle is the way to go. I think Kona has now decided for the, all the Kona Sutra models, there's gonna be a through axle. So definite bonus there. Okay, now that we have covered all the positive, wonderful things about my Kona Sutra, I'm gonna tell you a couple little like micro gripes, I would say, cause there's nothing really that I don't like about this bike. There's just a couple things that happened that I wanted you to know and 
here we go. If any of you have watched our videos before, you may know that I had some derailleur hanger problems and it was just because this piece right here uh, just wasn't robust enough. So I was having some problems with that piece bending, but Kona realized that the manufacturer like had some sort of issue with it and they replaced it and no worries from then on. So no need to worry about the derailleur hanger, but I figured I should touch on that since I did mention it in a few of my videos. So this rack actually did really well. And I think it might have to do with my panniers because they affix with bungee cords and not like the Ortlieb system that's really secure. And we went on a lot of roads that were pretty bumpy, probably more than you would do with panniers normally. And that though they were just constantly clanging around. So I did have the welds just come apart here. On the back, the welds are super, super thick. No problem there but on the front fixed it with some zip ties and tubes, which you can actually do a lot. Look, you can see it's like a pretty small weld. And that's basically what happened on both sides. But again, that's after, that's after a lot of mileage, a lot of bumpy trail and a pannier that was not secure. So I really don't blame Kona for that. Another thing I've heard other people kind of complain about with a bike like this is that it's heavy, but this is a steel touring bike. They are going to be a little bit more on the hefty side. I haven't weighed this. I think it's like 29 or 30 pounds, something like that. But it's built to last and I never ever had to worry about this failing on me. If you want a steel sturdy touring bike, this is an incredible bike. If you want something super light, then, you know, go to the high end titanium or, you know, bikes that have aluminum and carbon in them. But if you want something robust and strong, I think it's worth having those extra few pounds for something like this. Hey, babies. Hi. <laughs> All right, so overall, I highly recommend this bike. If you're looking at getting a bicycle touring rig, this is a great one to consider. Check out a bike shop near you, find a Kona dealer so you can test ride it. If you know absolutely you just wanna do bike packing, I would probably look more towards the LTD. It's a little higher of a price range. Oh, I should also mention this retails for $14.99 USD. But the great thing is that this is so versatile that you could get this bike, use it as a classic tourer, and then turn it into a bike packing rig. I mean, that's what I plan to do anyway. So overall, love the bike. I think you will too. So thanks for watching guys and hit subscribe. If you want to see more videos like that, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. All right, right on. Yeah.